1980s. Totally awesome. Big hair, neon clothes, synth music. Oh, and a couple of major conflicts. The Cold War and the Cola War. The Cola War rages on as Coke and Pepsi battle for soda supremacy. A-list celebrities are their gladiators, and network television is their arena. To gain the upper hand in the arms race, the military turned to psychic espionage. Remote viewing was developed as a repackaged version of astral travel. What happened next, no one saw coming. Show me your hands, dirtbag. Let me guess. You need a new tie because you got a job interview. I'm hungry, man. And this news feeds me for two days. Oh, thanks, officer. These urchins have been robbing me blind. I need eyes in the back of my freaking head. Get the hell out of here. What? You letting them go? I want to press charge. Shut up. $35 for a tie. And he's the crook. Hey! Hey! What about my tie? It's evidence. God damn it, Murphy. You're supposed to be out there working the Mendoza case, and instead, you're pulling your gun on a bum for stealing clothes? I got the mayor up my ass eight ways from Sunday on this, and the store owner's saying you stole a tie. He's threatening to file a complaint. This is an election year. Things are supposed to be going smooth around here. What the hell's going on out there? Just doing my job, Chief. What happened to you, Murph? Where's the war hero I knew back in Viet fucking Nam? You mean the John Murphy, who was a guest at the Hanoi Hilton getting cigarette butts put on in his nuts by the dinks while you were rubbing shoulders with the brass, trying to make Colonel? That Murphy? Shit, Chief. He's in my... You stole that shit deep inside, Murphy. You're off the case. Gun and badge, now. Fine. I can use a vacation. You're not suspended, Murphy. You've been reassigned. Congratulations. You're the newest member of the RVT, the remote viewing team. Have fun, Murphy. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm uh, looking for Dr. Zimmer. Well, you found him. Christ. You must be Murphy. Welcome to the remote viewing lab. It's not much, but... What am I doing here? We're looking for a bad guy. His name is Ragar 101. This is the best picture that we have of him. Ragar. Was he an Arab? Why's he got blonde hair? No, no, that's his handle. He's a trucker. <laughs> no. Gamer, that's a signature he enters when he achieves a high score. We believe his favorite game is Ragar. It's one hell of a game. I mean, from the storyline to the graphics. Hey, did he kill somebody? No, he stole a very important recipe. A recipe? Is this a joke? I wished it were. But he's stolen the most important recipe in the world. A recipe for new Coke. New Coke? Pepsi's been outselling Coke two to one. Coke was between a rock and a hard place, so they had to do something fast. So they went radical and changed the taste. And those taste tests? Real, 
That was the research, and it showed that if people can't legally have cocaine in their cola, they want more sugar. How did he get it? They gave it to him. <laughs> to enter into their new high-security mainframe computer. It never got there. He took it. The official release date is just weeks away. The new cans have already been made, and Max Headroom has been paid in advance for a series of commercials. We have to find that recipe, or we could have an economic disaster on our hands. But using remote viewing, uh, what is that? Uh, satellites? No. Remote viewing is a method of locating distant targets using only the mind. You don't even leave the room. Like ESP? Exactly. The Soviets. He's selling the recipe to the Soviets. Not much we know. You mean to tell me that this piece of shit is selling a part of my country's history to the Ruskies? Yes, and in doing so, they'll be starting a Cold War, the likes of which we've never seen. I mean, this will make the introduction of Joel Cola look like a fart in a hot tub. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's find us a traitor. all this shit. Well, the theory states that all you need to do is concentrate on the target while I apply a small dose of electricity to specific neural regions in your brain. This stimuli should then separate your consciousness from your body, and you'll be able to search without limit. <laughs> like a waking dream. Theory. You've never done this before? Not on humans, but I have done some work with small rodents, and biologically we're quite similar. Oh. Damn, that was less electricity than a 9-volt battery. The only possible explanation is that your neural pathways are already highly stimulated and were overloaded by the extra current, causing a low amperage electrocution. In English! Simply put, <laughs> you have natural psychic ability. I'm a fucking cop. I use hunches to catch the bad guys, not this hippie bullshit. You're a psychic, Murphy. There's no escaping. I always see all the angles. I never saw this one coming. I know this is difficult to accept, but this is why you're such a damn good cop, Murphy. You have a gift, and it needs to be honed. Okay. Okay, Doc. Let's find this son of a bitch. This is it, Murphy. This is where all our hard work pays off. Today we'll be looking for two targets. This is Rygar, legendary warrior and video game character. This is Rygar 101. I believe the two will be in close proximity to one another. 
We're running out of time, Murphy. Let's do this. You've been reassigned. I got something, Doc. It's a building. And it's only a couple blocks away from his last known address. It's blurry, but I think it's called Short Circuit. And it's right in the middle of Little Moscow. Could it be a coincidence? I don't believe in coincidence, Doc. I believe in remote viewing. 